Yep. Easy. Move it! Move it! Get On your knees! Cancers! We will not take up a moment longer than we got to. <laughs> Give over your money and your valuables to my kid Andre here, and we will be on our merry way. <laughs> and all of it? Alright, then. Let's kill these sons of bitches and be done with it. Come on, girl.
You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Looks like a decent pelt.
Jeez. Sounded prettier, Whoa. no sir. Oh, uh, hey, mister! Remember me? Come on over. How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Come on, girl. <laughs> Right, let's see. Boy, the things I can make with this. All made to measure. Kind pelts make one of a kind garments. Worth the legwork, I assure you. Sure, you'll see a difference right away. Here, 
should do the trick. Dakota, tall trees, big valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skins. Yeah. 
getting unless you want to get friendly with some old Driscoll boys. Go now! You don't... <laughs>
So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated, you know. This feller I could hurt. So uh... <laughs> up, up. Get up. Go on now, Holly. Good Mustang. Is taken? Go then! Keep moving! Make you all famous. Yeah. Let's go. Easy there.
but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too.
So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. How you doing? Good to hear. Getting hot wearing that, Arthur? Oh, Arthur! You smell. It's cologne. It's liquor. It's cologne from Cologne, Germany. <laughs> I don't have time for this right now. Well, I'm very sorry to have bothered you.
How are things? Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and... All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Let's go, girl. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Okay. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know? I ain't just look. Looking for a good place to drown you. Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And the thing... That was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast, you can break the line. Nice! Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another.
So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Combs. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's some bad news to go to confession. what's the line? Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here we for some fishing? To. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Well, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. Stay out of my way, O'Driscoll. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Well, you won't catch much if you don't cast the line. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Nice catch. But that's not the big one we saw. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second. 
Without being terrified of one of Combs boys is going to come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're going to kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were going to moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. feel very big to me. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Because we are here yeah. today for a very special yeah. occasion. It is yeah. imperative that we reestablish sanity and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning, thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh, and the ludicrous black
Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Why don't you move next time? You okay? Thanks again for coming fishing with me. We should do that again sometime. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on then, you miserable bastards. Yeah! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all five minutes. Well, wow, while you boys been off fishing or playing oh. ball, man, or whatever the hell you've been doing. Why are you riding all over the place? I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> Here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> See, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Don't 
try anything. And we won't do anything of kind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. Say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Well, the p 
place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit!
uh, yeah. just about. Yeah, I'll do with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it, Guan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Guan. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Yep. There we go. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Yep. Well done, girl. Okay. Then.